This is Transwarp Drive, and I am Anna Hudock. Transwarp Drive is a series of articles written by yours truly, and these are the audio versions of those articles. If you do prefer to read rather than listen, check the show notes for a link to the article. Otherwise, hope you stick around and enjoy. Today's reading comes from the Substack article, Reflections, September 2022. Enjoy. Before we dive into what science fiction I have been into as of late, I want to apologize for something. I was too harsh in some of my criticisms of Star Trek Prodigy. A few people pointed out how overboard I went in my criticisms and thoughts on the character Doll, and while I was adamant at the time that I didn't go too far, the reality is, I went too far. I was wrong. There are some things in that article I regret writing now, especially my celebrating any rough time he went through, especially in episode 6. I shouldn't have written any of that. I still don't like his character in the first half of the show, but I shouldn't have been as hateful as I was in my writing about it. It went too far, and for that, I apologize. Now, let's dive into some science fiction goodness. Axiom's End I'm going to be honest. I never watched any of Lindsay Ellis' videos on YouTube. I knew who she was, but just never got around to watching any of her content. For that reason, I never knew she was an author, until I found her book, Axiom's End, sitting there in the science fiction section of the library. I decided to give it a try, and so far, I'm not regretting it. It is one of the most gripping books I have read in a while. It grabbed me quickly and is not letting go. It's a genuine thrill ride that begs you to keep with it. And you want to, because the story keeps going in fascinating directions. The last alien contact story that I thought was this gripping was the movie Arrival. Not going to go into too much detail right now on what's going on. This will either be discussed further in a later Reflections article, or I will write a full review. I will probably just put my thoughts in a Reflections article, in all honesty. I don't know if I have enough to say for a full review, but I'm not done with the book yet, so we'll see. Star Trek. The Q Conflict. I'm going to be honest. So far, this feels like weird fanfiction. Okay, to be fair, pretty much all Star Trek fanfiction is odd. Never found Star Trek fanfiction to be all that satisfying or interesting, for the most part, as most fans seem desperate to keep things as canon as possible. I have never seen that happen before, but okay. But this isn't fanfiction. It only feels like fanfiction. Basically, the Q Continuum is at war among itself. So, Picard confronts Q, and Q decides that humans should decide the petty fighting for them. He gets the main crew members of Deep Space Nine, plus Quark, the original series, Next Generation, and Voyager together to fight. I'm not all that far because, to be honest, it's not all that interesting to me, but I will try to make myself read more of it and see where it goes. Ratchet and Clank, 2002 After watching the movie, I decided to go back and replay through the original game. I have never actually beaten the game. I suck at gaming, admittedly. But this time I'm making a genuine effort. I'm still not a fan of how confusing it can be on what to do and where to go, but it is an enjoyable ride once you know what you're doing. If you ever want to play the original Ratchet & Clank, I would advise following a walkthrough guide. Other than that though, I don't really have any complaints that come to mind. Actually, that's a lie. I'm not a fan of how hard it is to get new weapons. They're far too expensive considering you have to give up screws just to advance in the story in a lot of the levels. Besides those complaints, it's a fun game. The weapons are creative and all of them are fun to use and are genuinely useful. Even the basic wrench has actual utility. 
the weapon you start with, which in most games you will never use unless you run completely out of ammo, and even then, barely does anything. I, personally, find it to be the best at crowd control when I get swarmed by enemies. The movement is smooth, the control scheme is intuitive, each world is distinctive, and the dialogue is genuinely funny. I am very much enjoying my time with this game so far. Anyway, thank you all for listening. Be sure to also check out my Discord server for Red Culture Entertainment, which is in the show notes, which is devoted to building a community of those who love science fiction and fantasy. If you enjoyed what you read, please share this article with others. Thank you all for listening. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider supporting us on Substack or one of the other platforms we are on, and sharing this with your family and friends. Thank you all for listening. Have a great day. Peace.